There is no way, man, not unless Oswald was hanging by his toes upside down from the ledge. Surely someone would have seen that, all right? Either that or some pigeons grabbed onto him and flew him over the motorcade. You know, there was rumors of anti-Castro pigeons seen drinking in bars the week before the assassination. Someone overheard them saying, coo, coo. It's a pun. Not your fucking we hate puns, high horse. Best pun you will ever hear. Anti-Castro pigeons flying Oswald over the motorcade saying coo. Fuck! Yeah. It's gonna be in Highlights magazine next week. Read it to your kids in the dentist office. Here's a little pun, Tommy. Take the one about coo again. I just think it's interesting. I think it's interesting people's attitudes about Kennedy assassination. You know, people come up to me all the time. It was a long time ago. Did you just forget it? Just let it go. It was a long time ago. Jesus, forget it. I'm like, all right, then don't bring up Jesus to me. <laughs> you know, as long as we're talking shelf life. <laughs> Well, you know, Jesus died for... Yeah, it was a long time ago. Let it go. Forget about it. How about this? Get Pilot to release the fucking files. Go wash your hands and release the files, Pilot. Who else was on that grassy Golgotha that day? Oh, yeah, the three Roman peasants with the $100 sandals. Yeah, everybody. E. Howard is Huntus. So I was there in Australia, and I had to... Oh boy, poor America is going through so many giant moral dilemmas. One of them was uh, gays in the military. Big issue, big issue, gays in the military. Gays want to be in the military. What do y'all think about that? Okay. Here's what I think. I'll go ahead and tell you what I think. Anyone dumb enough to want to be in the military should be allowed in. That's the only requirement. Care how many push-ups or sit-ups you can do. You want to be in? There's a helmet. Go dig a foxhole. We'll tell you when we need you. I love watching these uh, these uh, uh, congressional whatever these you know these, these uh, meetings going on and uh, these military guys with their very serious. You know, our esprit de corps of the military, and we're a fine moral, uh, you're a murderer! Shut the fuck up! You're hired killers, okay? Go under the fucking rock till we lift it and sick you on some little brown nation. Until then, shut the fuck up. Okay? Till we tell you to go napalm a village of children and fucking women. Until then, Mr. Moral fucking organization, shut the fuck up. Orders, you fuck! Sorry, somehow we've gotten out of, you know, perspective here, how the government works. I know it's from watching that fucking show, Cops, too. It scares the shit out of everyone. But it's fascinating. I can't, I watch it every night. Oh, God, my God. Really? Busted these people? The most horrible, queasy feeling. Why don't you just have a show called Stormtrooper? IRS have a different fucking guest each week. <laughs> this week it's Red Fox on IRS Bust. <laughs> <laughs> Who that at my door? What you want? The rings on your fucking finger. <laughs> Next week it's Willie Nelson. Watch them meet the IRS. <laughs> What is the fascination about watching, you know, this, this arm of terrorism fucking go with impunity through our fucking launch? I think this is a good thing. <laughs> you are free to do what we tell you. Hear that, Mike? We're free. Anybody? That's
that's what everyone asks me in Australia, too. Because everyone, first of all, I'm from Texas. So everyone in Australia, first of all, thinks you're a goofball, right? Because that fucking image Texas has because of the national media. No matter what happens, in, 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 when the national media cuts to Houston or Texas, no matter what happens, no matter what the story's about, what's the first thing you see when they cut to Texas? Exactly. That fucking two-step band. No matter what the story's about, either. The first man launched to Mars is about to take off from NASA. Let's go to Houston right now. should not be. It's not. It never was. Don't worry. We're cracking down. <laughs> there. So that way, life would exist exactly as it does now, only without the onus of guilt, shame, or legality. 
and freedom in its true definition will be experienced. Onward we shall evolve until the fucking clouds separate, sunbeams down, 